Hi everyone, I'm Eva, and I'm a senior at UC Berkeley studying data science. Some of my favorite hobbies include selling things on eBay, I own a top-rated eBay store, going cafe hopping, baking with friends, and watching Broadway shows. A project that we're going to look at today is going to be building a countdown timer. Essentially, we're going to ask the user for how many seconds they want to set the timer and then count down. Once all of the time has passed, we're going to print out a blast off message. In this project, we're going to be using the time module. This module is going to come in handy because it imports a lot of time related functions. The first thing we should do on the first line is to import time. Next, we want to ask the user for how many seconds they want to set the timer for. So create a variable, I'll call it t, and we want to use the input function to ask the user for an input. Remember that when we use the input function, Python reads it in as a string. So that means even if the user types in a number, it's actually encoded as a string. So what we want to do is we want to cast this number into an int. So here we want to keep decreasing the time by one second until we hit zero seconds. So we should use a while loop here. Next, what we want to do is instead of just displaying the number of total seconds, we want to also display it in minutes and seconds. So for example, if the user says they want to set the timer for 120 seconds, instead of saying 120 seconds, we should just say two minutes. So how do we convert minutes into seconds? Well, there's 60 seconds in one minute. And remember that in Python, floor division is super useful because it rounds down. So for example, if the user typed in they, had, they want to, to set the timer for 63 seconds, minutes would calculate 63 floor dip 60, which is going to round down to one. So that's 63 divided by 60 is going to give us a decimal number. However, with Python's floor division, it's going to round that number down to one. What do we do with the extra seconds? So in the example of having 63 seconds divided by 60, that's one minute, but we still have three seconds left. Well, remember the Python modulo? That can also be really helpful here because it helps us find the remainder. 63 mod 60, we should be able to get three. So with our example of having 63 seconds and we want it to output as one minute and three seconds, one way we can do this is using a Python formatting method. Notice the syntax here. The colon 02d just states that there is two width and we have zero for the left of padding. And the d just stands for we have a digit value. So here, if we just do it twice, we can get the format that we want. Next, we want to print out the timer on the next line. Rather than printing out each new time on a new line, we want to overwrite the previous time with the current time remaining. We can do this with a print statement, printing out the timer, followed by a second additional argument called end, rather than a new timer on each line. We use this backslash R to indicate that we want to write starting at the beginning of the line. So what that means is that when the seconds count down, we're basically overwriting the previous line and replacing it with a new time. Next, we want our timer to sleep for one second before it counts down. Then we want to decrement our time. So we do T minus equals one. So once we run out of time, or when t equals zero, we exit out of our while true loop, and then we want to print out a final message, something like blast off. Awesome job. So we finished this countdown project. An extension to this project is to make a Pomodoro timer with 25 and five minute intervals. The Pomodoro technique is a productivity technique 
that is often used while studying and working. This is a timer to break down work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, followed by a five minute break time. So when we run this project, we should see that the timer starts counting down from 25, and once it gets down to zero, a message says it's break time, and then another timer is set for five minutes. And this repeats for four intervals. Also remember that because the Pomodoro technique is measured in minutes and seconds, we want to calculate how many total seconds. So to find the number of seconds in 25 minutes, you can just calculate it by doing 25 times 60, as there's 60 seconds in one minute. After doing the 25 minute work period, you're going to do the same thing, except now it's the five minute break period. Don't forget to reset what T should equal. This time we're converting five minutes into the number of seconds. So on line 26, we can just do five times 60. Don't forget to use the floor div and modulo in this project as well. Remember that floor division calculates division while rounding down and gets rid of decimals, while modulo gets the remainder. So this is really helpful when calculating seconds into the number of total minutes and seconds that there are. As an extension to this project, Feel free to get creative and make a timer for things that you normally do. So maybe homework or chores. The sky is the limit with the Python time module. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Juni Learning for weekly updates on math and coding tutorials. And if you want to keep watching more videos, you can do that right here. Also, if you want to keep learning from instructors like me, don't forget to check out junilearning.com for private and group courses that we have to offer. Thanks so much for joining us and we hope to see you next time.